is another fuel storage district facility we saw from the Greenpoint Avenue Bridge, which is right there. I believe it's also part of the Buckeye Jet Fuel Pipeline. If not, it's going to be a little eager. And uh, that carries jet fuel uh, you know, between, I think, like JFK and LaGuardia. So I know it goes to LaGuardia. Set up some chairs to hang out. Okay, so you can see this is a boom that they've attached here. And so the ExxonMobil, that's part of the remediation, is that they have a boom and it extends all the way down this way. And we'll see it from Meeker Avenue too. You can see it a little bit. And it's capturing the oil that's seeping out of the bulkhead. Uh, I'll get out of your way. Watch out for the uh, flag. Oh, New York. hangs out here. Yeah. So you can see, and you can see it's entirely ineffective, like it's totally collapsed right now. I don't know what the hell they didn't, they have obviously haven't maintained it. Maybe after the hurricane it got damaged. Mm -hmm. Wait, so what is this supposed it to do? It looks the same inside this is, and out. This is supposed to uh, capture oil that's seeping out of the bulkhead. Oh, I mean, it's I totally not functioning now. It used to be bowed out into the uh, creek. Oh. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you could see there was... Uh, it kind of still does over there. Yeah. And there, now there's oil from the Queen side. So Charles Pratt, um, Pratt Institute, uh, he was one of the first big refiners on the creek. He might have actually opened up the first refinery, 18, mid-1860s. 1853. 1853. Refined canal coal. Okay, and so then it became, it became, it became Pratt. Pratt. And then Pratt got bought out by Standard Oil. Yeah. And uh, they had a huge facility here that wasn't, it was maybe a third the size of the one on the Brooklyn side, but it was very big. And there's oil underneath here too. Mm -hmm. They pulled some oil out of a site called Quanta Resources, which is an oil recycler. It was a half a million gallons they pulled out. Wow. But they're finding there's more oil. And recently there was an uh, oil boom up that was soaking up oil that was seeping out of the bulkhead. I think we'll be able to see it put it down. Because what happened was that this property down here improved their bulkhead. And when they improved their bulkhead, the oil the oil would the oil would hit the bulkhead and then seep out around it. And so that's also what happened on the Queen side. One of the ways that they could see it coming was that they improved some of the bulkheads and then it would leak around them, like that one down there is a pile. So um, it comes out of the wood here or it comes out of this concrete thing? Well there's all sorts of like you can see the bulkhead's pretty variable, right? So there's that yeah. guy's sheet pile, this guy's wood, this is some concrete. Uh, you know, over yeah, here it's like wood. falling apart, right? Mm -hmm. And so the it's bulkhead is, is totally different as, <laughs> as you go down the creek. And so, uh, you know, you can imagine there's oil and groundwater contamination going into the creek, but you can't see it because it's coming in underneath mm -hmm. the surface. And then when you build a, a new uh, sheet pile bulkhead, then it hits it and it can't go into the creek, and so it leaks out around it. Mm -hmm. yeah.